Hey guys, it's Morgan Zeggers, and what do you know? Another major connection between the big tech oligarchs and the Biden regime was just exposed. Here's what happened. Eric Schmidt is the multi-billionaire former CEO of Google. And throughout the first year of the Biden administration, he's had his hands all over the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy, but in such a private and sneaky way that staffers described it as an unusual level of influence in the executive branch. Let's look at just how entrenched this man's influence in the White House is. According to interviews with staff and internal emails obtained by Politico, over 12 of the staffers in the 140-person office were associates of Schmidt's, and some are even current employees. Schmidt's charity arm, called Schmidt Futures, indirectly covered the salaries of two White House Science Office employees, including many weeks' worth of the salary for the current chief of staff. You might be wondering why this billionaire wants such deep influence in the Biden administration's office on science and technology policy. Well, it's pretty simple, you guys. He's been determined to influence national policy on these issues in America since President Obama was in office. And why does he want to do that? Well, because he's an investor in a new startup focused on AI and quantum tech. He has a 20% stake in a hedge fund called D.E. Shaw with $60 billion in investments and committed capital. And he sits on the board of an artificial intelligence-focused defense contractor called Rebellion Defense and the boards of many other tech companies. Basically, he's got a lot to lose and a lot to gain when it comes to America's federal tech and science policy. This all came to light as the Government Accountability Project decided to represent the science office's then general counsel named Rachel Wallace. When Wallace started speaking out about her being bullied for calling out unethical behavior and connections by Schmidt and his people, she became a whistleblower for the whole situation. I'm sure this kind of crony capitalist behavior is happening all throughout the Biden regime, so it's good to see it get exposed thanks to the insiders who have had enough of it already.